I have this amazing capacity not to think about it, which might just be a self-defense mechanism. You know, my father-in-law, Jeannie's father is a evangelical pastor, actually. He's now retired, but, um, and this, he would, we would talk about when we were getting married, they weren't terribly thrilled that she was, uh, marrying a agnostic or atheist or something. We love each other very much. It's, it's fine now, but I, I only started discussing this and some of the, cause that was one of his questions for me, like, well, how can you possibly believe that there's nothing afterwards? Mm -hmm. Because that's just like too horrible to imagine. And we, we really never saw eye to eye on this. And my view was like, listen, like, I can't convince myself. I believe what I like. I can't convince myself. Otherwise, anything else seems completely implausible to me. And for some reason, I can't understand. I'm at peace with that. Like it's never bothered me that one day it's over. And and I under and the fact that people have angst about that and that they would seek answers makes total sense to me. And and I can't explain why that doesn't consume me or doesn't bother me. Um. But, and yet you are at peace. Yep. Yeah, maybe if I was worried, more, but if I was more worried about it, maybe I wouldn't be able to do, I don't know. I don't know. But I, then again, I don't take the risk. I'm still like, I don't know, but I minimize all sorts of risks. I'm like a, I, 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 I yeah, I minimize, uh, you know, I try to optimize like groceries in the fridge too. Like 